Hey, what's going on, guys? Just want to make a quick video for all these fellow owners of the three liter Eagle Diesel that's in the Dodge 1500 and the Grand Cherokee, in my case. So I'm sure you guys notice that once you drive the car, even on low mileage cars, 30, 40, 50,000 mile cars, your suit level, AKA exhaust filter, filtration filter, which is pretty much on the downstream of the turbo on the primary cat, gets clogged up with a bunch of carbon and gunk from all these stupid emission devices on the car. Um, so it's gonna cause a car to go into limp mode and ruin your day if you don't know how to get around it. So you have several ways of getting around it just to at least get you going from point A to point B without being stranded and having to wait for AAA and whatever else you need to do. So as you can see on the bottom left, you'll have the flashing lightning bolt strike. And that's pertaining to the electronic throttle body, which gets completely freaked out by the turbo on the, turbo on the boost codes and the lip mode and all that. That's why that's there. So as you notice right now, I'm in seventh gear going 78 miles an hour, which you can't do if you're really truly in lip mode. But like I said, you've got ways out of it. Um, and I can't really go that much faster than you usually would if the car was working at 100% capacity. And if I want to change up the eighth gear since I'm already on the highway, I gotta blimp the throttle. So I'm gonna blimp the throttle and I go into eighth gear. And then I have to literally feather the gas to maintain my speed. And you're pretty much going with kinetic energy and keeping the momentum. So if somebody pops up into me, into my lane, gonna have to adjust it go back to seven and eight um, but it's, it's the turbocharger right now is not getting barely hardly any boost because of this issue with the suit so what I would suggest you guys do until you either take it to the dealer for the TSB recall and based on what they find when they diagnose your car they should obey to the recall procedures which is replacing the map sensor the EGT sensor and cleaning up your catalytic converter or replacing it on top of giving you a uh, settlement uh, proceeding of about up to three thousand dollars now my car doesn't qualify for that but i'm going to take out the whole system of the car make it a lot better and take all this junk from going into my motor so it can run a lot healthier and a lot better um, so what i recommend you guys do besides the tsb just to get you guys going is clean your map sensor it's right there right behind right before the heat shield can't miss it it's a 12 uh, it's a t40 so um, it's a t40 bolt one bolt to take it out you can clean the inlet hole a little bit and um, let the car sit for a little bit then you'll be able to drive you'll feel you should be able to notice that the car is not going to stutter as much as it did before when it was full of gunk some people have claimed that they can't even go past 20 miles an hour with that. All those things going on. All you do is feather the gas. Give it 10, 15% throttle input. You'll be able to at least get going. Um, so that's what I'm doing until the parts come in that I need and get the car set up the way I want. And all of this will be taken care of. So hopefully that, guy, that, that helps you. If you're stuck in that situation and the car goes into limbo, this should be able to help you out if I can always check out the Jeep forms. Take it easy.